What's up, YouTube? So, it's the end of 2017. Uh, there aren't going to be any more yo-yos coming to me this year in 2017, at least not that I know of. And there's not enough time for any more yo-yos to get here to me, even if I were to order one right now, uh, before the year is out. So, it's time to do a collection video. That's right. This is the official Throws and Brews 2017 yo-yo collection video. Alright, let's get right into it. Let's start with Fixies. Now, there's a ton of yo-yos here, so we gotta kinda go quick. So, let's start with Fixies. Uh, I have a bunch of no-jives. Here's a blue one. Here's a just clear-coated one. And I have a red one. The blue and the red have stripes. Blue with a white stripe, red with a black stripe. Very cool. Rest of the Tom Coon stuff. Well, not the rest of the BC stuff, but some of it. Uh, BC Apollo. Love this thing. BC Blackbird. Regular Imperial shaped Blackbird. Or Championship shaped Blackbird. The Butterfly shaped, the Wing shaped Blackbird. Awesome. Uh, two different Phantoms. I have a green and black one. And a purple and black one. Phantom is awesome. It's the same as the Blackbird. Just, you know, with a sort of a different paint job here. And then I have a red and black Fiend Magazine Spitfire. Also very cool. I really wish the BC stuff would come back because I really love it. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm glad to have the ones that I do. Because these should be enough to last me the rest of my life, hopefully. If not, I'm sure I'll get more. Also, other random ones that were laying around. Uh, Ninja Turtles Pro-Yo. Unopened 70s Plastic Duncan uh, Imperial. The uh, Butterfly XT with the Raptor caps on it. Duncan Metal Drifter. Dale Oliver's Technic. Uh, Spintastic's Technic. This is actually an original one from 1996. Uh, Catch and Release Keystone. This is one of the uh, original few that uh, Austin did. Uh, this is my favorite one. Catch and Release Keystone bust open the red Duncan bag here the uh, stickered up uh, Spintastics Manta Ray another BC this is the BC classic the super duper incredible Cayman from reticulated or retriculated return tops Love it. Came in so good. The Hildy Brothers Courier. This is the non-screw apart version. Very cool. The Paduke one. The skull. Hildy Brothers. Very cool. I love Paduke. Uh, this is the uh, OUT Just for Fun. In Walnut. A little bit light, but super fun. And the Duncan Pro Fly. Uh, love these yo-yos. Very fun. Love fixed axle. A lot of these I've had for a long, long time and been collecting for a while. But a lot of them are new. So that's always fun to get new fixies. New fixies are great, right? First, we got two loopers. These are some Beat 1080s that I traded uh, a few yo-yos for. Some old magic yo-yos. Traded them for these Beat 1080s. Very cool. Uh, I like these. I've got them set up very nicely. Uh, I can't loop very well, but uh, I like my 1080s. They're very cool. I have a couple of Replay Pros. like the Replay Pro a lot, especially the solid ones, solid colors. Replay Pro, very cool. A couple of Proto Stars. Blue and the see-through red. Uh, dig the Proto Star. Great plastic. Yeah, your factory does great plastics anyway. But the Proto Star is very cool. Um, here is the new North Star Finger Spin in orange and black. Also very cool. Love this one. The Yeti 2.0. These are uh, discounted and discontinued, so make sure you grab one of these uh, before they're all gone. Very cool. I dig the Yeti 2. I like the original one too, but I don't have one of those. But the Yeti 2 is very cool. Uh, 
Another CLYW plastic. This is the Big Dipper. It's Zach Gormley's signature. The G Squared Ghost in green. The Sharp from Yo-Yo Freaks. Very good. Love it. Yo-Yo Factory Wedge. Super cool. Super cool Delrin. Came out same day as the uh, Sharp. Yo-Yo Factory. Uh, what is this? The other Gentry. The Gentry plastic one that I can't think of right now. The, yeah, re-something. Duncan. Freehand Pro. I uh, got this one at Disney World. It's a cool, like, blue and pink. I dig it. <clears throat> Yo-Yo Factory Counter-Attack. Cool. Old school. Neat. More Duncan. Freehand. Another Duncan. Uh, Freehand Zero with Freehand Pro Caps. C3 and Magic Yo-Yo Vapor Motion. Very cool. Recess first base. The best beginner yo-yo. And also a fun yo-yo for everybody else. A hey, Polar Bear. Very cool. Very solid. Kind of like the Replay Pro. Blazing Teams Metal Max Tornado. I know it's kind of metal, but it's also kind of plastic. I don't know. That's why it lives in here. Some of these are metal and plastic. C3 Gamma Crash. Very cool. Just got this for my birthday. Dig it. Play it a ton. Topio Mojo. Got this from JD. He sent it over in one of my orders. Love it. Topio Mojo. Yo Yo Best Buy still has them. Pick one up. Links in the description. Yo Yo Zekio Flare Ultra. Got this in a uh, mystery Zekio box. Uh, dig this thing. Very cool. Very smooth. Uh, I think Yo Yo Empire does uh, machine these. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yo Yo Zekio. What is this, a Spectre? Yo, Ezekiel, Baby Groot. Boom. Very cool. Yo, Yo, Empire Ting. Got this from my good buddy Vivek over at Toybania. They still have these. These are cool. You, if you guys don't have one of these, go, go get a, go get a Ting. These are cool. They come in V shapes too. Super good. Ooh, one of my favorites. The. Too sick en passant. If you don't have an en passant, you need to grab one of these too. So good. Love the en passant. A lot of good plastics came out this year. Um, Ting and en passant particularly, but you know. Oh, let's not forget the other really good plastic of the year. The iceberg. <clears throat> the Ioyo iceberg. Love it. Very cool. Been playing with this a good bit. Just got this for Christmas. Been playing with this a lot. Ioyo iceberg. And... The Too Sick Pawn. It's got like a half swap. There's a silver side and a blue side. And Dylan Kowalski zipline customs on there. Very nice. That's the plastics. Start with some Topios. Topio Impulse. Dig it. I don't play it as much as I ought to. Topio Silenus. I play this thing constantly. Love it. Topio Turbine. I still have to review this one. Um, this finish is amazing, though. I pretty much just got this one for the finish, but it's a good yo-yo, too. But finish is, is amazing. Hellfire is the finish. Awesome. Love it. So good. Thesis Yo-Yo's Synthesis. Very cool. Recess Komodo. Like this one. 44 Gravity. Vulcan. This is a pretty cool and pretty unique yeah yeah. You guys should go pick one of these up too. Uh 44 from uh 44 uh yeah yeah or yeah. 44 gravity. Go pick one up. They're pretty cool. Uh Zekio Anarchy or Anarchist or whatever. I uh, also got this in a mystery box. Very cool. I like this yo-yo a lot. Nice just old school organic yo-yo. I like that it was in a mystery box. Magic Yo-Yo and Spin Gear Katana. Uh, 
Still best Magic Yo-Yo to date, in my opinion. Very cool. Magic Yo-Yo Katana. With Spin Gear, of course. In collaboration with Duncan Windrunner. My beautiful wife got me this for my birthday. Super awesome. Play it, been playing it a lot since my birthday. The Duncan Raptor. This is the OG Raptor. They did reissue these. Um, but I think they all sold out at Nationals. At least that's what Sean Perez told me. But this is an OG. Uh, very cool. Glad these are back. Hopefully they're in stock soon. See Ian's guys can pick some up because they're fun. Um, got this for Christmas. This is the Duncan MKT. Chris Makita's signature. Still need to review this one. I dig it. Very smooth. Probably the smoothest Duncan I own is the MKT, actually. And uh, Recess. This is the new Joyride. Uh, got this from my buddies at SW Randall. They just got some of the newest ones in stock. Uh, new colors there. Uh, check out SW Randall if you haven't. And uh, give them a call if you'd like a Joyride because they have some great ones. Some really cool colors in stock. Um, and moving on. This is the Magic Yo-Yo and Amatoys. This is what, the V3, I think? This is cool. I like this one. I like the splash. It's a good carry. I used to carry that one a lot. I don't. I haven't played it much lately, but I used to carry it a lot. Uh, N12, Shark's Honor, half-swapped. I gave. I half-swapped it. I had two of these. I half-swapped it. I gave Austin the other one. So, Austin's got the other half, the other halves, the less beat-up halves of the N12. Um, the Duncan Origami. Brian Jardin's yo-yo. Brian Jardin's a nice dude. Friend of mine on Facebook. Talked to him a good bit. Didn't get to meet him in uh, in Florida when I was there. But uh, this is his signature yo-yo, and it rocks. Uh, and here we got the Duncan Grasshopper. Haven't met Janos. But the Grasshopper kicks ass. Really great. Really, really fun. Probably one of the best Duncans ever. Uh, Duncan uh, 2016 Barracuda. I like it. And then uh, this is the uh, audition. Very cool. Very, very cool. Audition. Um, moving on. Some SFs. SFSF. Mine's got a ding in it, but it's still really smooth. SF makes really smooth yo-yos, and I really like the SF because I play this thing a ton. The SFSS uh, also has dings in it because I hit it with another yo-yo. <laughs> but uh, also very good. Still very smooth. Um, I play the SF ones a lot because SF makes good yo-yos. I really should pick up the newest one. I want to, but just did, did, buying myself things around Christmas just wasn't a thing. Um, Unparalleled Abduction. This was the best colorway. Uh, very cool. Elliot Agawa's signature. Cuts on cuts on cuts. So good. Yo-Yo Community Tangent. Yo-Yo Community is no longer, but Elijah Tan still, uh, I think he still competes with these, actually. Or at least he did a while ago. Um, like, semi-recently. Uh, so, Yo-Yo Community Tangent. Very cool. Really like that. Machine by one drop. Just good H-shaped Yo-Yo. Uh, this is the Rihara. Got this from my buddy Simply Mike. Very cool. I still need to get around to reviewing this one. I like the Rihara. I carry it a good bit because it's got a ding in it. I didn't put the ding there, though. I think Mike did that. Uh, Vosun Vanquish. Mine's green. It's like an emerald green. Very cool. Uh, Turn Top Shop just restocked these. Uh, but these can be hard to come by because they're like the one of the best budget metals ever. 25 bucks. Really cool. I like the Vanquish. It lived in my desk at work for a while. Uh, probably should go back there because what I have there right now just ain't cutting it. Uh, Corco Alley Cat. It's a responsive. I play this a ton. I get it. I've, I've only had it since my birthday, which was like this month. So I haven't even had this a month, and it's all beat up because I beat it up. Corco Taco. Just reviewed this one. Love the taco. So good. Corco does amazing stuff. Base Camp Expedition. This is the best mono metal base camp by a. Infinity. Absolutely the best mono metal base camp. Super good. Kind of looks like the uh, Orca and the Silenus, which I also have, which I also really like. Um, Rain City Gamer. Awesome. Hoping the Gamer 2 is like 7 or so grams lighter. 
would be the best ever. But uh, regular gamer, very good. Like it a lot. Play it a lot. It's it's good. Uh, what's this? The Super G. Yeah, your factory. Super G. Mine's very beat up and vibey, but it's okay. Because it's, it's cool. Because Gentry's old signature. And, and it's black. Black areas are cool. The OG Shutter. The camo one. Very cool. Brand new Shutter Wide Angle. Just reviewed this one. Really, really like the uh, the wide angle. Really, really, really nice improvements on the shutter. Uh, Cyborg 2.0. Uh, one of the absolute best and most underrated Yo-Yo Factory yo-yos. Cyborg 2.0. Scoop these up while you can still get them. They're super good. The Too Hot. Harold Owens just uh, started throwing again and is uh, putting up trick circles and stuff on his uh, YouTube. You should go check him out. Very cool stuff. Too hot. Love it. The uh, Aviator 2. Also love it. One of my one of my favorite Yo-Yo Factories. For sure. Super good. Yo-Yo Factory Dogma. This is the 2016 team color. Uh, this one is kind of special. Because it's all blasted. Uh, the other ones are a little bit shiny. This one is just like a perfectly... It's one of those like powdery smooth finishes. Uh, I love the Dogma, and this is the best color that it comes in. Mine's dead smooth. Super good. Got that at uh, SW Randall. I think they might still have one in stock, which is, you want that one. That's the one you want. It's the good one. Um, Navigator, Base Camp. Uh, this is absolutely the best Base Camp yo-yo, period. Um, I think Base Camp's done, over and done with, which is kind of sad because I did get some fun stuff. But uh, Navigator, very cool. I got grabbed one when they blew it out. So it was super cheap. Oh boy. Oh. Carolina Yo-Yo Company. Uh, this is this one was a prototype. Super good though. Love this. I have the other one somewhere too. The one that's in the black and gold. I actually think it's in the car because I was playing it the other day. So I have two of those. Carolina Yo-Yo Company. El Cadejo. The other one's in the car. Black and gold. Two Sick Gecko. Best color. Too Sick put out some great stuff this year. Too Sick Serif. Uh, my absolute favorite release from Too Sick this year. One of my top three favorite yo-yos ever. Too Sick Serif. Too Sick and Oh Yes Yo Knight and Gale. This thing's awesome too. Cool bimetal. Super powerful. One of the most powerful yo-yos of all time. It just spins internally. It just eternally. Forever. Yo-Yo Freaks Pound in the unspoken colorway. Pound is good Yo-Yo. Love the Pound. Need to review this still, but you saw me unbox it not too long ago. The uh, Monkey Finger Pixel Ape. This is the prettiest Yo-Yo in the collection. Can confirm. Prettiest. That Anno is so good. Love it. The R Throwers Powered by G Squared, original content. Splash was the best. Those of you guys who didn't pick the Splash, missed out. But it's okay. They were all good. Splash was the best though. One drop 54. Love it. One of the top three greatest yo-yos ever created. Unresponsive yo-yos, anyway. The uh, OG G Squared Banshee. Love this thing. So good. The G Squared and Monkey Finger collab. Also very cool. Mine's a little bit beat up, but it's like, it's a tank. Awesome. Collab. The Throw Cafe Cappuccino in the Cappuccino colorway. So good. One of the best yo-yos this year by, like, definitely. Like, a long shot. A lot of good yo-yos came out in 2017. It's a good one. The Smashing Yo-Yo Company Interlagos. Super good. Got that the day the Pens won the Stanley Cup. Oh yeah, well I ordered it the day they won the Stanley Cup. The Unspoken Yo-Yo Project Apollo. This is like, this is amazing. This is a great Yo-Yo too. This is another like, 
It's one of the best ones this year by like a long shot. I play this all the time. Love this thing. Apollo. Unspoken Yo-Yo. So good. Oh man, I, this is the case that has like a lot of my favorites in it. Um, the other case has some favorites in it too, but this one's got like a lot of the favorites in it. Uh, the Rain City Hipster High Life. This is in Beer Snob. Uh, super good. Super light, but like stable and long spinning. It's just like so good. Machine by one drop. Nothing to not love about it. Great yo yo. Ooh, this one's got a matching aromatic string on it. Thanks, Rob. Uh, this is the CLYW Arctic Circle 2 in the Clearview Station colorway. Uh, always love this colorway. Like the Arctic Circle 2. Match made in heaven. Mine's got a couple dings and scrapes in it, but love it. Made in the USA. Or maybe this one was made in Canada. I'm not sure. But it's great. The uh, CLYW Orca. This is a fool's gold. But it's uh, one of the ones that was machined by one drop. Uh, it's got some dings and dents and stuff on it. I got this from my good buddy Adam Nance. And uh, I love this yo-yo. This is absolutely one of my favorite yo-yos of all time. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. CLYW Orca. This is at probably the best CLYW to come out since they moved the production to China. This is the Yuki Spencer CLYW Kayak. Absolutely one of my favorite CLYWs. Uh, best one that's come out since they, that, and I think I've played them all, uh, since they moved production to China. So, Kayak, super good. Love it. Um, this is the CLYW um, Compass. New run of these coming up soon, I think. Uh, I got this when they dropped the uh, Fool's Golds. It's unengraved. I like the unengraved version better. The other version has a lot of engraving on it. This one's... This one's the way. Unengraved Fool's Gold was the way. CLYW Manatee. My good buddy Michael Fertico got a uh, signature colorway after I got this. Uh, I'd have gotten with the Fertico fade, but uh, I already had this one. It kind of looked like the Fertico fade. I think this is the color Michael Michael was using beforehand. So, uh, you know, Bird, I would have got your color, but I got this one, and it's kind of the same. But uh, you should check out Bird's Colorway if they still exist, because it's really cool. Fertico Fade. Uh, this is the G-Squared Elite. Super good. Best buy metal come out this year. Elite. Love what G-Squared does. So good. Okay, this is like one of my other favorite yo-yos ever. This, this is actually the second wolf I've had. So this is the G-Squared Wolf. It's a half swap. Uh, got it off my buddy uh, PJ. PJ Singh, you've maybe seen uh, PJ on uh, some yo-yo forums and whatnot. He is a hell of a thrower and a hell of a collector as well. And uh, he half-swapped it, so we are half-swap brothers now. And uh, love this. These are my two favorite colors that it came in. Arkham Swirl and uh, World Breaker. Super good. Love the half-swap. Love it so much. Ooh. One drop, dang too. One drop killed it this year. They didn't put out a ton of stuff, but everything they put out was just like, mm, perfection. Le Magnifique. One drop, top deck. Half swapped. Austin has the other halves. Black, orange. I bought the black one off of Kai Zizen, and then Austin and I half swapped later. Uh, black and orange. I like black and orange. It's good stuff. Had half swap is killer. Ooh, one of my absolute favorites. This was a present to me early in 2017 by the good people from the good people at OneDrop. Uh, this is the Countach 5000 QV. Still love this yo-yo. Had it almost a whole year now. Still love it. Absolutely one of my top three favorite yo-yos ever. So good, so familiar, so fun. Just right. Uh, original 6061 Countach. Just the regular Countach. In black, got this for my birthday last year. Uh, from my mom and dad. Got some uh, some zip lines on there. Matches it very well. Go pens. Go pens. One drop benchmark W. Love it. Good stuff. One drop benchmark H. 2016. These are all the 2016 benchmarks. Or at least these two. No, three. I have three. I got rid of the O. 
and one drop benchmark V 2016 got a nice ding at the library there a couple weeks ago one drop Vanguard first one drop ever still love it still play it all the time one drop 2013 H killer much smaller but like still just like so good one drop code 2 in the greatest colorway that the code 2 came in this is all house eve <clears throat> i believe this was done by gruntpool anodizing this is just so good my wife got me this for our anniversary in 2017 which was in february love it one drop deep state one drop first responsive love the deep state so good one drop deep state one drop downbeat just got this from kai i think i still have to give him money for it one drop downbeat very cool it's very like heavy but still just like kind of chill and fun to play nice organic shape Ping. nqp one drop kraken very cool I think this was supposed to be pumpkin and I'll show you pumpkin but it kind of came out lighter so it's some kind of paladin colorway I I still think it looks good it's very goldy uh, the one drop terrarian in uh, pumpkin as you can see I think this was supposed to be this but hey whatever it still plays good I think it still looks really good <clears throat> one drop in CLYW CLYW seven summits this thing's awesome. One drop T1. My good friend Sky half swapped hers and she uh, traded me for this one. Love it. Purple and red. Looks good. Looks kind of like candy. One drop prescription. I actually got this like the day that I got surgery. So it was the prescription for what was ailing me. No, it was okay. It was elective surgery. Don't worry about me. <laughs> um, and last but not least the one drop mantis in green this was my blind box mantis and uh i think that's gonna do it guys that's uh that's uh, that's everything uh there's a couple yo-yos in my desk at work that i didn't bring home but uh this is pretty much everything it's a lot of yo-yos i have too many yo-yos and this video has gone on long enough but uh thanks so much for watching guys make sure you like and subscribe i do videos every day cheers to you and uh i'm not drinking anything but I will see you next time.